Several months ago, you were here at Pechanga Resort and Casino making that ring walk. What is the feeling right now as we are about to check in with the fighters? First of all, Billy Zumbrin. There you see him, 18-5-1. He's actually going after his master's degree in educational counseling. What's going through his brain right now? Right now, he's like, man, I'm going into the biggest fight of my life. I can't fail. You know, so he's excited. He's fighting Riddick Bowe. He's fighting in front of a national, a live national TV audience. So, you know, he don't want to let people down. So he's excited. Well, you know he's a fighter. He's coming in with Bob Molly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Come on in, Billy. You know, Sal, he is a youth corrections officer. Right. So just in case there's any trouble with you tonight. So you we might have to, yeah. yeah. I done been to Spoffit before. That's why I learned how to, <laughs> how to talk and play basketball. That wasn't the place I wanted to be. Hey, look, this man is definitely in shape. A chiseled 227 uh -oh. pounds. Who cares if he's given up about five inches to the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world? He seems primed and ready for an upset, at least. That is, according to John Spider Sally. And here he comes, the man of the hour, his first televised fight in more than eight years, the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Riddick Bowe. What do you see, lights out? Well, I see right there, man. He's coming back, he's living for the moment. He's living for the moment. He can't wait to get his stand to, to a cheeseburger. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, oh hey. hey, wait. I dancing. The hey, last you know, guy to dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm ready to say this. Look, look at him. Look at him. Oh, well, way to go. Every you know, time somebody dances. Dude, he's trying out for Idol dance. right now. <laughs> when every time somebody dances, comes to the ring, they always end up getting knocked out. So I, you're saying he's too loose right now, too loose. I mean, it's, not, it's not really both. Right. He's being somebody else right now. Sally, do you like his mindset that he's having fun as he's entering the ring? He's, well, you know, he's basically waiting to get bounced by Simon Cowell. Well, I, <laughs> I'm loving it that he came in with, with the Philadelphia sound. Uh, <laughs> ain't no stopping us now. But you know what? You walk in dancing. We looked at each other just now. You cannot dance when you walk. Right now, he shouldn't even hear the song. All right, well, right now, gentlemen, that is it for us. Time to send it down to the men who will call the fight. A pair of great crooners in their own right, Barry Tompkinson, Rich Murata. What do you have for us, gentlemen? Moon River? Yeah, how do you like that? <laughs> Very nice. Um, let's talk a little about Riddick Bow. Everybody right. has been, but we may as well throw our two cents in, too. Well, he can still dance, I'll tell you that. We saw that. Slowly. <laughs> that was the thing. Do we slow dance anymore? I don't know. And that may be what, the, what we're going to be watching tonight, too. But is it like riding a bike? Is he going to be able to do that? Well, I, I think insofar as certain things are concerned, it will be like that. But, you know, the things that you have to look for here is reflexes. If the fight should go a long time, how he reacts to that. If he, in fact, wears down or if he wears his opponent down. But Riddick Bowe knows how to fight. When he was heavyweight champion, believe me, he was one of the most skilled heavyweights that you could find. Ring generalship, learned under Eddie Futch. This guy knows how to fight. All of that said, Billy Zumbert is a guy who, and you get a pretty good idea when you talk to these guys, as we do every morning in the fight. Billy Zubert is a confident guy. He really believes he can win this fight. Oh, yeah, and he's going to bring it to Bowie the, the, tonight. He's going to try his best. He wants to see if he can oh, stack up against a guy who at least at one point was an elite heavyweight. It's not only a test for Bo, Zumbrun's testing himself as well. Yeah, I actually think the first couple of minutes of this fight are going to really tell us quite a story because I think it's going to tell us what does Riddick Bo have? How is he going to take this fight? Is Billy Zumbrun going to be afraid? I think there's a lot of questions that will be answered in the first couple of minutes, which are just a couple of minutes away. Let's take a look at the numbers, how these two match up with one another. And, of course, Bo at 37 years of age. Zumbrun's not a kid. He's 32, the experience factor, of course, all with Riddick Bow. But that 280 pounds, that's the big question mark. And what is left in the tank is the other one. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to the Pachanga Resort and Casino here in Temecula, California, as we present the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Goose and Tudor Promotions in association with the Pachanga Resort and Casino. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, the chairman Chris Mears, commissioner in attendance Armando Vergara, and the executive director is Dean Lohais. Introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout for Brinkside, Ray Corona, Lou Filippo, David Denkin, and our referee in charge of this bout. He'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Pat Russell. All right, fans, here 
here we go with our featured bout of the evening, 10 rounds of boxing in a heavyweight special event. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the Pachanga Resort and Casino, it's time for the best damn sports show period main event of the evening. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with silver lettering, and fighting out of Ogden, Utah. He weighed in at 228 pounds with a record of 18 wins, five losses, and one draw. He has 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Billy the Kid Zumbran. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with red trim, proudly representing his home of Brooklyn, New York. He weighed in at 280 pounds even. His record stands at 41 wins, only one defeat, 33 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome him in his comeback trail. Here is the 1988 U.S. Olympic silver medalist and the two-time heavyweight champion of the world, introducing a man who calls himself Sweet, 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 introducing Riddick, Big Daddy. in charge, Pat Russell, now to give instruction. All right, there's the line right there. There's the line right there. Ten rounds, touch him up, come out the bill. Good luck. And here are the rules in California. Ten-point must system, three knockdown rule, not in effect. No standing eight count. I think I heard myself say this before. Save with the bell in the last round only. Referee or doctor can stop the fight. Fifth round is where we go to the cards on the headbutt rule. And with that, we are set to go. How many sweets was that in his that was six. Six sweets. Six sweets. It's the first time I'd heard that one. Let's see if Bolt can take control here, Barry, right away. He's always had a great left jab, and I, I have the feeling that he would like this fight to not be a long fight here tonight. I don't think this is one of those nights where you think, oh, I'd like to get a lot of rounds in. No, I think that's exactly right, and he said that. He told that to Jay Glazer a little bit earlier, you might have heard, and he told that to us this morning, that he just does not expect this fight to go the distance. And again, I think the first couple of minutes of this fight are going to answer a lot of questions for us. None have been answered in the first 30 seconds. Huh? <laughs> Bo is very paunchy. There's no, no question about that. At 280s, it's too heavy for him to fight at as an elite heavyweight. One thing they elected to do, he's only had a few weeks to train for this fight, so I think everybody needs to cut a little slack for Bo here tonight because of the fact that, the, you know, he's not going to look like what he did 10 years ago, quite obviously. And, uh, you know, they elected not to concentrate Barry here on weight loss for this fight, just get, trying to get in some kind of fighting trim, worry about taking the weight off later. Yeah, he said he actually had gone up as much as 320 of them, and uh, showing a little bravery there, slips a shot in. First right hand thrown by... Bo missed. Don't hold him, Billy. You know, in the second career of George Foreman after his long retirement, he was a much more patient, much more relaxed fighter in the ring. And uh, Bo might end up being the same, going that same route. Yeah, I right, can see up those hands. I mean, you, right, you right, touched on it earlier. Head. I mean, this was a guy that had I'll a world out. of skills. And can do a lot of things that, you know, guys with long arms, big men can't do, three fight hands, inside, three really, three really three then three an three uppercut three three inside. Three up, Rick. Stop! Stop! Don't hit behind the head. Don't turn around. Yo, don't turn around. Let's go. It, it does look like there's a huge size advantage, which of course there is. But Billy Zumbert is, is not a small guy. He's six foot tall, 220 some pounds. I thought he would come more at Bo, but instead he's trying to box him. Now, if he gets into a jabbing contest with Bo, that could be uh, pretty tough. The only guy I've seen really that could successfully jab with Bo is uh, Andrew Galata. Oh. Let him go. Stop punching. He's just Let a big, Step strong out. guy. And that is, of course, what he's hoping carries him tonight. His trainer is Joe Goosen, and Joe Goosen said they'd like to embark on a kind of a George Foreman-esque type comeback, fighting very often and gradually increasing the level of the opposition. 
Says he wants to get a nutritionist. And that's how he wants to lose the weight, not just right, lose the water hand, weight. Free him up. You don't need me. Free up those hands. You heard the guys talking earlier. We spent a good hour with Riddick right, this go, morning, go. and it's, uh, it's like a laugh Stop fest. The Stop the bell. A little bit of blood from the nose of Billy Zumbrin at the end of the first round. We start the second round in Billy Zumbrin's corner. Uh, Boza Edwards saying, go hit this guy. He's there. Go hit him. Yeah, what he doesn't want him to do is go in and grab because then he feels like he's playing into Bo's hands because Bo's got that 280 pounds to lay on him. So just hit him and get out of there. Two fine corner men handling each of these fighters. Boza Edwards in the corner of Zumbrin, former world champion. Joe Goosen, who has developed into one of the greatest trainers in the world in the corner of Riddick Bo. Jay Glazer is in the corner of Riddick Bow right now. Uh, you were eavesdropping between rounds, Jay. What was going on? Oh, what his trainer was telling him to do, he said, I like the way that you're working that jab. You got his nose bloody, but I also want you to start using that uppercut because he's ducking his head. When you use that jab, he drops his head. It's the prime opportunity for an uppercut. Also work that body more. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, Jay. That's a very good point, too. He can connect with that hands. uppercut. It is a good weapon of his. Don't hold him. Punch him inside. Well, betrayed a little bit by his by a wild right there that he threw, but most of the, most of the way he's just being he's being very relaxed here, very patient, throwing the jab out and waiting for really an opening. Good right hand from Zumper, probably the best punch of the fight. <laughs> <laughs> you saw Bo's reaction to it. <laughs> but, but, but Riddick will probably pick it up now a little bit. He doesn't want to be the guy getting hit here tonight. Was a right hand slipped in by Bo. Someone was uh, involved in a tragedy in the ring a couple of years ago. He fought Brad Roan in Utah, and uh, Roan collapsed after the first round. It was a nice uh, combination, actually, by Zumbrun. Yeah, it was. Uh, Zum uh, Roan collapsed after the first round, not really from a pounding that he took from Zumbrun, but he actually. Had a heart attack, it was reported, and died. And Zumbrun, yeah, he was so acting funny in the first hands, round, and Zumbrun was even asking him during the fight, are you all right? And because he was obviously in some kind of distress and terrible thing. And of course, Roan Ron died, and you know, Zumbrun has had to come back from that a little bit, which isn't the easiest. He is a very interesting guy, Billy Zumbrun. He's got a master's degree. He works uh, in a youth encampment in uh, Utah as a counselor. In fact, was just promoted to coordinator. Let him go, Riddick. Works with 13 and 14 year olds who have been convicted of capital crimes. Good right hand again. Yeah, Zumbrun's doing a very nice job. He's picking his spots here, Barry. I think he's surprising uh, Bo by the way that he's fighting. He's kind of backing off and then coming in forward, a little trying to flurry quickly and get out. I think uh, Bo expected him to be right in his face, and that hasn't been the case. This has been a very effective round for Billy Zumbrun. His confidence will certainly grow from it. We're coming back. Smaller man Billy Zumbrin got a rise out of the crowd with that right hand for, to the head of Riddick Bow. A little good combination. And then Bo went into the Bow Funky Chicken. <laughs> all right. But Zumbrin still, all in all, I thought that would be a good round. I thought one round. He, he's picking his spots That's too. That's exactly pretty well. what he's doing. He's not looking for big Sunday shots, just quick little combinations. Once again. And again. And he's being very sharp, and uh, Bo is not blocking those punches. Rick's going to try to get his jab working here. You know, Bo is such an engaging fellow. I've we had a chance to sit with him for about an hour today. He was on my radio show for an hour last week, taking calls from fans. And uh, he's just, he's really still a barrel of laughs. Yeah, he's a delightful guy. Whoa, 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 stop. Well, Jay Glazer has made his way now to Billy Zumbrit's corner. I, I've got to think, uh, Glaze, that they are pretty happy with what's going on here so far. They're very happy with what's going on. Remember earlier today, Billy's, uh, Billy told us, you know what, I'm not sure what my plan is going to be. I want to see how his jab is, how everything is, as far as Riddick with his reactions. You know what, now he thinks he's just too quick for Riddick Bowe. That's why he's getting that uh, right hand in there. And they're just telling him, go after that one, two, more and more. You'll get him in there, just keep firing away. Bo's jab is starting to take effect here. He's landing the jab good in this round. He's 
Has yet been able to land a follow-up right hand, though. Takes a left hand from Zumbrin and backed him off. You know, Bo is rusty, let's face it. I mean, and his reflexes aren't the same. His jab is shooting out there, beginning to shoot out there pretty good. He's finding a rhythm with that jab now. And once that right hand comes behind it like it does there, then it's going to be a little trouble for Zumbrin. In another day, that might have been a knockout punch. They caught Zumbrin leading right, in that stop, time, stop, lunging stop, in, stop, actually. Stop, stop. Now go. Zumbrin now faces that situation of maybe getting too brave. Well, he's going to need to deal with Bo's jab. And that's not an easy thing. The right hand is not sharp. Throw that hand. Let that head go. Stop. Stop punching. Don't, don't cut. Don't smear up. Let's go. Little trick from uh, Riddick. Yeah, from the veteran. <laughs> and again, a nice combination from Zubrin. He got in and he got out. Billy Zubrin is doing nothing if not fighting an intelligent fight. All right, hold him. Stop punching. And he's moving, but he's not running. So that way he's not going to waste a lot of energy the way that uh, Osalino Freitas did, for example, against the end the round. I think he's won this round also. Time. No was patiently walking him down most of the uh, round, but Zumbrun had his moments, no question. And when he'd flurry, he was pretty quick with his hands. Now, Bo right, managed to now, get you just step out. You don't need gloves me. on those and block most of them, but Zumbrun did have a couple of combinations. He did. Let those hands go, free them up. Now, Zumbrun trying to work the body here early in round four. Scheduled for 10. Zumbrun said, if I get him past five, I feel like I've got a pretty good shot. Well, he's hanging in there. Your card. Now you gave the last round to Bo. I yes. gave it to Zumbrin. All right, so. hang on. Step out. Don't hold him aside. We're quarreling already. Already. <laughs> <laughs> that was just much ado about not much. Right. So Bo's pretty good with those uh, hands out in front, picking punches off. Whoa, 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 whoa! Watch your hands. Re again, remember. Don't, don't tackle. Eddie don't Futch was his cornerman for right. a long time. So basics, fundamentals. I mean, Riddick Bo has. All right, free up those hands. Free them up. Stop. Break. That's a looping right hand that looked to me like it got there. All right, let his head out. Let it out. Free up that hand. Go free it up. He's oh. trying to catch Bo with sucker punches. Good body shot from Bo. And a good jab right on top of the head. All right, stop. Don't lock those hands. Don't back them outside. Don't bull rush. And I thought Riddick, when he was champion and at the top, and when he won the title against Holyfield, he really looked to me like he was headed for the history books, if not greatness. Well, what he achieved wasn't greatness, but it, it was always there. That the, the talent was there, and I think he regrets some of the things that happened along the way. And well, we were talking to him about that today. You know, what did you learn? Have you learned from your mistakes? What can you do to change it now that you're giving yourself a second chance? He's being outfoxed right now by Billy Zug. Uh, his right hand just is not sharp. He's throwing the right, but he's being wild with the right. That missed. Three hands. Zumbrin is getting underneath it. He's seeing the right hand coming. Three hands, let's go. From the fight for Bo and it drops under and that was a great left hook to the body. And Bo has always been able to punch to the body. And I'm not sure that Zumbrin is fully recovered yet. Bo tried to go right back to that shot. That is a tremendous left hook to the body and Zumbrin just caved in underneath it. Huge shot. Now, Bo feeling full of confidence. Boza Edwards in Billy Zumbrin's corner said, listen, if you're going to get knocked out, get knocked out fighting. Zumbrin said, yes, sir. Bo was incarcerated for 18 months 
during that time was not allowed to take it take uh, part in any kind of boxing activities he ballooned up to 320 pounds so he's down to 280 from where he starts his uh, comeback he did have that fight with marcus Rody last september i think that was kind of a dress rehearsal now now the real stuff begins yeah. james tony has uh, joined us here James, your your thoughts as this fight goes on. How you guys doing? All right, how about you? Good, good. What are my comments on this fight? Yeah, what do you think so far? I think my man um, Billy Zimmerman is um we get some confidence. He started building up a little bit, but then that body check I took it out of him a little bit. But you know he's gonna get back into it. Pretty good fight. Yeah, not it's a better fight than quite honestly a lot of people thought it might be. Oh, definitely. I thought you know I thought it'd be a drag in, but you know. They move, make it, they, move, they move mix it up a little bit. James, you've had some layoffs yourself uh, that you've had to come not lo as long, obviously, as Bo, but what do you see in Bo, either positive or negative, in terms of his layoff <laughs> and oh, rustiness? Uh, I think, you know, he's kind of rusty. You know, his weight is, as, as you know, obviously his weight is, his, white, his weight is high. His weight should be a little lower than, you know, than what it is now, but, you know, if he gets by the night, I think he should go back to the drawing board and work on that weight, get that weight down to where it should, where it should be. Starting to work that jab with more excellent effectiveness. Jab. Yeah, he still got the jab, James. Got an excellent jab, but the guy's not. He, the guy's not moving. The guy's in front of him. But if he gets able to move, it, somebody who bobs and moves, and he got trouble. He'd be trouble for him. That's James Tony, and he has been with us, and will continue to be with us for the remainder of the night. Oh, you see that? Nice see shot that? there. Uh -oh. I don't know. Is he really hurt or is he playing? back to the jab that's the fundamental thing for Bo tonight no, I don't. as you see right there middle, uh, really Bo had a mental break breakdown for a second it almost cost him yeah it did he's back now though excellent jab he's, he's always had an excellent jab even back in the young days his jab was his key weapon He's not getting careless. Riddick Ball, I'll tell you, he's a courageous fighter. He's always shown that. I mean, I've seen him in trouble before. Evander Holyfield decked him in the sixth round of their last fight. And uh, Bo came back. He survived it. It was a hard knockdown, but he came back, survived it. And of course, in the fight with Galata, everything was breaking loose in that fight. And Bo was hanging in there until Galata got disqualified, although he was losing. All right, stop. So he's, he's not a quitter at any point. Has he ever showed that in the ring? He's a warrior. Well, he's going to have to muster everything he's ever had right now. Working 
the jab, keeping Zembrin off him. That's the ticket for him. Whoa, 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 step out. It looks to me like oh, yeah, Zembrin can see out. those yeah, rights yeah, coming yeah. every time. Jay Glazer in Bo's corner. There's got to be a little bit of panic going on now, Glazer. Our guys, you want to know when he was stunned first time, second time. They said, no, he was buzzing after that first shot. Riddick was hurt. Remember also, guys, before the match, Billy right, told us he side. just wanted to get side. Riddick to the fifth round, and he thought it would get a lot easier after that, certainly playing into his fight plan. Absolutely. No question about it. He, he, he came in here with an idea, and he's really executed the idea. But now he's still got a ways to go, and he's in there with a guy who's been around the track a few times. He, he got a, some of his glove up defensively, so he was able to take some of the power away from Bo in that one. Zumbrin came back with a combination of his own, but there's the Bo jab. Outside of that left hook, oh, there, there's the right got home. Yeah, it got home, but it was top really, of the tele head. really telegraphed, though. There he opens up again, does Zumbrin. Very close round, this sixth round. Bo trying to go back to winning the fight with the jab. Up the middle. Final 10 seconds. Bo do a little more offensively here. I gotta stop. No punch. Step back. Shoot the belt. End of six. Barry Tompkins with Rich Verrata. We're here at the Pachanga Resort and Casino in Temecula. Comeback of Riddick Bo and the guy who's standing in his way, Billy Zumbrin doing everything he can. Right now, I have this a dead even fight. Well, I have both two points out in front. I gave Bo the last round based on his uh, jab, which he's been working on. Unfortunately for Bo, that's the only thing that's really been working for him in the fight. His right hand, his timing is way off with his right, but his jab is very good. And you know, we thought perhaps that Riddick Bo might start to tire at this point. And, and quite honestly, Rich, it, it looks to me like Billy Zummer is every bit as tired as Riddick Bo. And you know, Bo has not fought at a fast pace. He's doing that George Foreman thing we talked about, fighting at a very relaxed, very patient fight. So in case All he right, gets into the later rounds, Billy, he still stop. retains some. Step back. Don't throw a shoulder and pull this fight. Let's go. Now, Bo, I think, can win this fight with the jab alone, but he can't beat better fighters with the jab alone. the seventh round halfway point pace is slowed in this round there for the first time Bo was jabbing to the body then tried to bring the jab up to the head which is what Joe Goosen wanted him to do that stopped Zumbrun right in his tracks that jab again it's difficult to launch an offensive arsenal when you got that jab in your face the crowd is reacting to, of course to every punch Zumbrun is landing and I'll, I'll tell you if there's no crowd more fickle than a fight crowd they, they came in standing ovation for Bo and <laughs> Zumbrun the underdog landed that heavy stuff two rounds ago they were all up and cheered for him yeah right, well, they love hit, an underdog. Watch your head. what do we got here what do we got watch your head Doc right there Doc. not quite sure what got happened got in the head no cut let's go there's that left hand by Zumbrun again This round is right there for the taking for either guy, I think. I don't think Riddick Bowe has landed more than two or three right hands tonight to the head. That's true. Two of them came in that last round. All right, let his head go. Let it go, Billy. Let those hands go. Stop. Stop. No punch. Step back. Let's go. Listen for the bell. Last 10 seconds of what has been a very slow round. He staggers both. Help me. We come to round number Help eight, me. and uh, I know Riddick Bo didn't want to be here at this point. No, he was hoping that he would, uh, it would not be too long to quote him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, he truly expected this fight to not go the distance. He 
said one thing he's got to get back is his swagger. I don't think he'll be swaggering there. No, he won't be swaggering. Whoa, 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 stop, 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 Billy. In fact, Billy, I think if he wins it, he'll, he'll be relieved. Let's go. There's a good right hand. set up with the jab, though. Stays having trouble getting that right hand home. If he does, it's going to spell real trouble for Zumba. He's feeling the punches. He's feeling the power of Bond. Yeah, he is. Both starting to get a little more into punching range, getting it a little more close quarters. One punch for shoulder. Well, they took a point away from Zumba. Very costly, I think, at this juncture of the fight. Very costly. Yeah, I thought we have a you know, fairly close fight here. And that was for utilizing the shoulder against Bo, who's still trying to get that right. And even at this stage, as Zumbrin's legs are beginning to go here a little bit, he's still right, able stop, to get stop, a, stop, at least stop, a partial stop, block of those right hands. Jay Glazer in the corner of Billy Zumbrin. Is there concern there, Glazer? Actually, interesting, guys. I talked to Cornelius Bozer Edwards, a former champ himself, who's Billy's trainer, and he said, hey, we don't fear anything from Riddick. We're, I'm telling him, go in there and let loose. Go after him because there's nothing to fear in Riddick right now. He gets back in the ring, obviously, and he starts getting shaken up a little bit by Riddick Bow. Back to you. That's easy for Boz Edwards to say, and he's standing 25 feet away. Those powers starting to tell a little bit here. So do I, and even though there are not a lot of punches from Bo, they accumulate. The crowd is naturally going to react to all of Zumbrin's punches. So far, I think this round has belonged to Riddick Bo, plus Zumbrin had a point taken away. So remember, if Bo wins a round, it's a 10-8 round. Double jab, and then a miss with the right hand. So Riddick Bow here is basically just going back to his basics. And what are the basics? Well, you start with what? The jab. It all flows off the jab. Well, nothing else really is flowing off the jab for Bow, but that's enough to get him by tonight, it looks like. Yeah, I agree with you. And Zumbra tries to open up at the end of the round, but not enough. In extreme slow motion, watch how the uppercut of Bo, Bo works. Look at that face shake of Billy Zumbrin. He may not be landing the right hands from long range, but that he, he felt that one Zumbrin did for yeah, sure. Not for the faint of heart, is it? Round nine. And it still could come down to these final two rounds. This is the first step of what Bo and his trainer, Joe Ducineau, is a long haul. Again, that right hand, the bow kind of fell into the ropes as opposed to being powered into the ropes. Well, Bo told us he boxed eight rounds just the other day, so he's needed them. Say he doesn't look any more gas than he did in the second or third no, round. He's fighting at that relaxed pace. He, he looks like he can go some more. But right, uh, I got to step out. Break. Now go. It's a smart pace that Bo's had. And I think Zumbert, for his uh, point, has fought a smart fight. Maybe the unexpected fight. But right there, when he's in jabbing range, it's difficult. Yeah, I think Zumbert is tired. I think he's been tired right, for the last couple of rounds. Let that head go. You, you talked about his legs, and I think that's exactly the problem for him right now. Keep letting it go, though. Bo waved him in, and uh, Zimmer said, "No, thank you." Yeah. <laughs> Bo has been able to double up on the jab. We've seen it twice here in this round. Riddick's at it. Asked him, you know, what's the toughest thing about it? And he goes, 
It's the training, man. He goes, I yeah. kind of forgot how All hard right, this is. And he goes, frankly, the running, running, getting back out there on the road and running. I'll go. Yeah, he said that was the hardest thing to get back to. He was never the dedicated <laughs> the consummate <laughs> trainer. <laughs> Well, he had an epic three-fight trilogy with Evander Holyfield, and those two guys, I think, are going to go into the history books as kind of linked to each other. I think so. You know, Zale and Graziano, Ali Frazier, and Bowen Holyfield. Yeah, it speaks to that old adage of great fights make great fighters. Up final well. 10 seconds of round nine. Touch him up before we go out, okay? We're good to go. Oh, it's all good. good. Thanks, Pat. Hey, you got to get that button. You got to use your hook. Get him with the hook. Or not. Okay, but don't do anything stupid just because I said throw a hook. But look for it a little bit if you see the opening. Oh. The key, obviously, is that jab. You got to work more this round. This round is your last round. You got to turn it up. You hear me? You hear me? You got to get Joe Goose is very calm in that corner. He told him right away, look, he's going to unload everything on you in this round. Him to back him up. Can't throw punches, back it up. Ready, come on out. Give me a glove. Good fight, fellas. Now let's go. Tenth and final round back. and a much more of an action fight than I think uh, many people here anticipate. I think it's gone about seven rounds more than Bo anticipated. Yes. Now, one thing to keep in mind, Billy Zumbrin has two knockouts in the tenth round. Douglas's brother with a 10th round knockout. Here it comes. I think just what Goosen told Bo to expect. And on his head, don't to come punch, out going his head. for it. Don't punch. That foul. He doesn't want Bo on those ropes, though. He wants Bo backing Zumbrin up. Doesn't feel that he's got the jab out there that Zumbrin can do anything. It's been hard work for Riddick tonight. And those who were expecting a walk in the park were sadly mistaken. Pretty good right hand right there by Zumbrin. All right, well, stop. Stop, don't hit him. Step back, watch your hips. Now go. I have Bo well ahead. I feel that uh, Zumbrin needs something really dramatic here. I have Bo ahead only by a point. His head was right on Bo's, uh, uh, right on Bo's chest. One minute remaining. See if there's any dramatics in Billy Zumbrin. things after this one. He feels very good about the way 
things went. Riddick Bowe taking a slow walk around the ring. If Bowe is awarded the decision, I'm, I have a feeling the crowd will boo. Probably, although I don't think you could really argue with it. I, I have the fight even, but I might have been a little bit generous for Zimmerman early in a fight. So it's in the hands of the judges, something Riddick Bowe did not want, but that's what he got. He, you, all of us will wait for the decision and get it on the other side of this. Well, the best damn heavyweight comeback is in the books. Let's find out who won it. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, we have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judging ringside, Ray Corona scores about 95 to 93 in favor of Billy Zumbrun. Judge at ringside, Lou Filippo scores about 96 to 92 in favor of Riddick Bowe. And Judge at ringside, David Denkin scores about 96 to 92 in favor of the winner, Riddick Big Daddy Bowe. Well, it was everything that uh, we honestly didn't expect. Split decision, mixed reviews from the judges, and as you can hear, mixed reviews from the fans. Well, Barry, I had it 95-92, so I think the decision was just. They more or less uh, went along with the uh, judges on that one, but I think the crowd was really in there for that underdog tonight. Jay Glazer is with the winner and, I believe, with the loser. Jay? All right, thanks, guys. I'm here with Riddick Bo. Riddick, you heard the crowd's reaction. Where did you see the fight toward the end? Did you think you were behind on the scorecards? No, not at all. You know, I used my jab. I did my jab, but pulled it out. People fighting sports, maybe at the end of the round. How can you, how can you win the fight by winning, you know, working the last 30 seconds? What gave you the most problems? Obviously, you had the long left. Where did you struggle most? Well, I think of my jab. My jab is what did it, and uh, he had no answer for it. All right, what's next for him? You guys know what, what's going on next for Riddick Bowe. Where's the next step? I'm going to give you, in, in, from my perspective, training. We're gonna, we had three weeks for this fight, less than three weeks. We had one week of sparring. Give me six weeks with Riddick Bowe, and you'll see an entirely different person. I thought he won the fight based on his jab and backing up. Mm. Billy, you can have your say in a minute. You can't take nothing away from Billy. Yeah. Billy put his heart out in, for a long time, man. Billy, that was the best fight I had. Billy, what do you think, oh, Billy, what do you think of the decision? Fight. Hey, you know what? He's, he's the ex-champion. I got a fight coming to fight. The you yeah, have two times in the first couple rounds. I took a knee, so hey, I want a rematch. We'll do it again. All right, there could be a rematch, could not. Guys, back to you. Well, and you can see the mutual respect from these two with good reason. Billy Zumbrun, I thought, came here with an idea and really executed his, his ideas about as well as he could. Yeah, and, uh, you know, both fighters, I think, executed what they were going to do. You know, for Bo, uh, the thing is, though, the jab is what he executed well. And the other stuff, that, you know, it wasn't really there. But with timing, as Joe Goosen said, with more training in the gym, uh, it'll get better. Jab won the fight for him. Billy Zumbrun wants him again. Maybe he'll get him. Who knows? Chris and the guys coming back after.